Hello and welcome to another episode of the joy of teaching and learning. It's nice to have you here and I'm, I'm happy that you are choosing that journey of teaching and learning. We are all teachers and students, if we want to call it that way. And today I want to talk about when the student is ready, the teacher appears. But equally, when the teacher is ready, the students will appear. So what does that really mean? It's beyond the learning outcomes and the measures that we use to learn and to teach. This is more about when we are open to see certain things, the teacher or the student will appear. So at this moment, I am really excited in the midst of the turmoil and the whatever we want to call it, the chaos, the duality, the light is coming in. How beautiful to see, how beautifully synchronized the indigenous people were, whether it's the Hopi or the Mayans. All of them knew about this time. Whether we go to the Atlanteans or we go to the star beings, they all knew this is the time to make that quantum shift. So when is the student ready? The student is ready when you, when I, can see the truth. And when we have the courage, then the teacher will appear. The teacher is not somebody you actually want to follow. And the teacher is not always the same person. And sometimes it's not even a person. Could be life, could be experiences with animals, experiences you have in your meditations. And when the teacher is ready to truly impart to support the student to come into that space of evolution, of ascendance, of transcendence, whatever you want to call it, the students will appear. So we live in a very interesting time, more than interesting. It's super exciting. And I'm happy that you are listening. What is it like for you at this time? How does it feel for you? Are you a teacher? Are you a student? What are you ready for? What are you ready to learn? And learning, as I said, is not just a learning outcome. It's not just a formula or an ideology. It's not just a concept or a theory. It is how do you evolve? How many times in your life have you repeated certain situations and you've got a bummer again? Well, some learnings take a little bit longer. It doesn't mean you're stupid. It doesn't mean you waste your time. It just means the lesson has not unfolded in its full way. And you need maybe more than one teacher on that journey. Maybe one of the things we are all facing on some level is now separation, exclusion, judgment. But what's on the other side? Those who are pushing your buttons make you see your intolerance, your judgments, your inability to see a certain truth, what's on the other side. Then the teacher is truly teaching you. And it doesn't mean that he's superior to you. It doesn't mean he has a PhD in whatever. No. When you are ready to shift 
from the 3D concepts I want to generalize here, like judgment, like intolerance, like wanting everything right now, like separation, like exclusion. When you can see the other side, the person or the situation will appear. It's just like that. So what is it like for you? And if you are a teacher, and most of us are both teachers and students, who is pushing your button? What are you here to impart? How can you support somebody else's journey? And then teaching and learning becomes really, really joy. Of course, if we have skills, as in how to ask the right questions, it helps. How can I explore? What is my truth? This is more what's in the heart. But also, if I analyze it, if I interpret it, if I try to explain it, if I try to synthesize it or whatever mental thing I want to do with it, what does it mean? Does it still ring true in my heart? Or is it simply a little exercise of the mind? So let me finish today inviting you. What are you learning at the moment? What's pushing your button? How are you stepping into the light? What is on the other side? And if you are teaching someone right now, or you're sharing, also, who is push pushing your buttons? And what is for you on the other side? What can you impart? How can you support? How can you help the other person or the situation to find their own truth? So let me put you on a little sound journey, a short one, so that you may explore the teacher and the learn learner within yourself in the heart, opening up to the light, to the other side of oneness and love, compassion, joy, whatever you feel is on the other side. So I hope it's helping you a little bit. Sometimes we struggle too much. We suffer a lot. And sometimes it's really just a choice. A choice maybe to have a little bit of courage. Check it out. If it doesn't work, nothing happened, nothing broke. It just maybe took you a step further. So hope to see you soon again with the joy of teaching and learning. Thank you so much and namaste. Much love into your world.